hey y'all what's up we're back with another video so for today we're gonna be doing some white french tips and that's pretty much it let me know if you guys are getting tired of seeing all these french tips that i'm posting i don't know if you guys remember but i told y'all that i'd be doing french tips like every single day and you guys probably thought i was joking but i feel like these uploads are proving me just right because yes i do french tips every single day it's just that every time i do a set i record it obviously to post on youtube for some content for you guys and most of the time my clients just want french tips but let's be honest you can never go wrong with some french tips i hope that these videos are at least helping you guys out in that way and helping you get better with your french tips fun fact i know i'm a nail tech and everyone trips out when i tell them this but i do not like having my nails done i don't know what it is but no matter how short they are they get in my way like i feel like i can't function is it just me i know i can't be the only one so let me know if you're also a nail tech who does not like getting their nails done anyways you guys seen me prep her natural nails with my medium grit sanding band and she did have a lot of build-up cuticle but you guys were able to see how i got that super clean with just my sanding bit like i've mentioned before i keep my prep super simple i feel like that's the way to go at least it is for me this is what's worked for me and has always worked for me so that's why i continue to do what i do now i'm going in with my non c curve kiara sky square tips along with their glue as you guys know i like to dip my tips into the monomer and dry them off before putting them onto the nail just to get them to adhere a lot faster if you guys have been rocking with me for a minute you guys know that these are the only nail tips that i use i swear by these i love them the shape everything it's just so perfect once i finish applying the tips i cut them down to my client's desired length and then i start prepping the nail tip and by that i mean just blending the nail tip into the natural nail and also creating that c-curve i did just post an in-depth tutorial on how i create my c-curve so if you guys haven't checked that out make sure to do so Now for my dehydrator, I am going to be using acetone in a spray bottle and for my primer, I'm going to be using Mia Secret Primer. Right after I apply the primer, I'm going to go straight into a thin layer of clear acrylic. I like to do this just to lock in the primer and make sure that they don't get any lint on it. Not only does it help with protecting the primer, but it also helps with retention. At least in my experience, I feel like it does. If you haven't tried this step, make sure to do so and let me know how it works for you. For my acrylic, I am using Bad Enough from Dynamic Nail Supply mixed with Kiara Sky Light Pink and some clear. It's hard for me to tell you guys the exact ratio that I mix the acrylics in, but if you just mix those colors up, it should work out um, or you should get something at least similar to this. You guys know the routine. I'm going to let you watch the application process and I'll be back once we're on our next step.
once I'm done with application, I'm going to get started on my hand filing. And I am using my 60 by 60 hand files. They are going to be linked in the description box below if you guys are interested in purchasing. The goal is to always make sure that your application is on point so that when it comes to the shaping process, you don't have to do too much. I've come to realize that shaping does cause a lot of wear and tear on your hands, causing them to hurt a lot more and cramp up. Once I started really prioritizing my application and making sure that it looked neat at all times, my shaping time has been minimized and my hands do not hurt as much anymore. So if I could give you guys a tip, it would be that focus on your application and make sure that it's neat. Once I finish hand filing, I'm going to go straight in with my fine drill bit from Kiara Sky. It's also going to be linked in the description box along with all the products that I'm using. But the main reason that I use this drill bit is to clean up underneath the free edge, around the cuticle, and overall the entire surface of the nail. 
the reason why I use this drill bit is because I like to use it as a buffer. I did used to use buffers at some point, but I feel like it doesn't do the job that it needs to do. It still leaves some scratches, so I feel like with this drill bit, I'm able to get rid of every scratch that's on the nail. It does take some getting used to, but once you get the hang of it, it really does come in clutch. So if you guys don't do this step, I recommend that you do or at least try to. <laughs> Once I finish with all the filing, I have them go wash their hands and then we get straight into the design. So for the French tips, we are using white and this white is going to be linked in the description box below as well as every other product that I'm using. We did do French tips on all 10 fingers and that's pretty much all that we did on this set. I did end up going in with some glossy top coat. We were kind of in between going with matte or glossy, but we ended up doing glossy. I did forget to record that step, but the top coat that I used is also going to be in the description box. It is a rubber top coat, so I feel like it just just leaves them extra shiny but that wraps up today's video thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll catch you guys on the next one